So we've got a recurrence relation one here, and we're told that the first term of this is equal to one. So when you put the one in there, the second one of these will be five lots of one add two, which is seven. The third one will be five lots of seven add two, so that makes 37, doesn't it? Do we got to go any further? Yeah, we've got to do another one as well. And the fourth one is five lots of 37 add two, which is 187. So the sequence works like that. Well, what it's now saying is that this sequence here, 1, 7, 37, 1, 8, 7, is actually the sequence um, 1 half, 3 times 5 to the n, take away 1, take away 1. We need to try and prove this. So full proof, as usual, when n equals 1. When n equals 1, u1 equals 1, we know that, and when you put a 1 in here, you get a half times 3 to the 5 to the 1 take away 1, and that's just 1, take away 1, 3, so it's 3 take away 1 is 2, half of 2 is 1, yes, therefore true for n equals 1. Assume true for n equals k, i.e. uk is equal to a half 3 to the times 5 to the k take away 1, take away 1. So consider n equals k plus 1. We are aiming for, this is our aim, we think the next one's going to be a half lots of three, stick a k plus one in there, you get k plus one take away one, so we think it's just going to be five to the k take away one. That's what we're hoping to find out, but let's see what we get. Uk plus one is equal to the rule from the very beginning at the top there, up there, is five lots of uk plus two. Now we've assumed that this is true for UK, so we'll put that in there. Five lots of minus one. And then I need to add the two on the end. Okay. Let's take out that factor of a half there then. So we've got a half times three to the five. K minus one times another five would give me there. I've also got to take away the 5, taking away the 5, and I've also got to add the 2 as well. It's not quite working yet. Okay, I'm sure it will. Um, so, all together now, I've got most of it, haven't I? Look, I've got the half, 3, 5 to the k, but here I've got minus 3, which I don't really want. So where have I gone wrong? Oh, I've spotted it here. That half there was supposed to be a half there as well, wasn't it? That was a bracket there. So this should have been minus 5 over 2 here. Yeah, so 5 times a half times minus 1. So now that actually, there's the minus 5 over 2, add 2. So now I've got minus a half there. And now I can take out the factor of a half. 3 times 5 to the k minus 1 as required, and then I'd write true for 1. Um, if true for n equals k, then true for k plus 1. Therefore, by induction, true for all natural numbers. Sorry for the slip.